I just want answers and we just need justice. Tonight, a 13 investigates exclusive. The family of Harmony Jones wants to know why there's no arrest more than one month after she was beaten to death. They're speaking only tonight to 13 Investigates reporter Sierra Putman about their search for justice. And Scott, we confirmed the seven month old was in foster care and then the state returned her to her parents. She died less than two weeks later. At Oak Hill Cemetery in Gary, Babyland. So this whole area yeah. is for the innocent. They didn't put a marker down yet. A temporary pink marker for seven month old Harmony Jones. She was beaten to death. Yes, they said she had fist marks. It was bad, like they said it was bad. Ariana is Harmony's aunt on her father's side. She wants justice for her niece who died with severe injuries, including broken ribs. Injuries discovered 150 miles from Gary in this Indianapolis apartment. And it's seven month old, not breathing EMS as an aisle. CPR started. On Sunday, January 8th, Harmony died. A homicide, but a month later. They haven't arrested anybody. They're still walking free. The family tells us the twin babies were in the apartment with four adults that morning. Harmony's father, mother, maternal aunt, and grandmother. Ariana tells me she does not know who beat her niece to death, but the story she's been told isn't adding up. Do you think Harmony was failed in some way? Yes, every way. She says this cooing, exploring, smiling peekaboo baby was failed by the city, state, and the adults she lived with. And you said both her parents, so even your brother. Yes. It's just crazy because, like, they're so innocent. Like, how how don't nobody know? So if nobody knows something and a seven-month-old baby is there, how is nobody getting charged? 13 Investigates was asking similar questions. For weeks, submitting documents and interview requests for anything releasable under state law. In January, we put in a request for Harmony's file. That month, a judge granted our request, but hours later, he denied it after learning IMPD is still investigating. We took our questions to IMPD. It's been a month, why no arrest? These type of investigations are very difficult. Um, they take a lot of extensive work. Sergeant Janae Cook spent 13 years working child abuse cases. She says they're difficult for a variety of reasons. The children can't speak for themselves and police have to look at every adult as a suspect. They're going above and beyond, honestly, um, some of the normal things that we would do. Still, Harmony's family worries because a different child abuse investigation opened in July did not result in an arrest or charges. She have a broken femur. 13 investigates confirmed police did present that case, but Marion County prosecutors did not file charges, telling me there was, quote, no clear evidence to determine who was responsible or how the child sustained the injury. Still, the broken bone led DCS to put Harmony and her twin brother in foster care. For months, the parents could see the babies, but only during supervised visits. Ariana tells us she was there for one at the apartment always had a bad smell and was never clean. Did you think that was a good place for babies? No. Which is why she was shocked to get this text from her brother on December 27th. Do you think the state made a mistake by returning the babies? Yes. A mistake she thinks cost Harmony her life. 12 days after reunification, the seven month old died. You want somebody held accountable, even if it's your brother? Even if it's my brother. Why is that so important to you? Uh, family or not, if you know what you did, it's not right. Not right. That Harmony is now laid to rest here instead of safe at home. Another question the family has, and we have, is what prompted DCS to return the twins to the parents? The father tells me he was overjoyed when he got his babies back, but even he wonders if that was the right move. Sierra Putman, 13 News.